Uh, again, we've got Dextrose running in an S4 here with a standard way hopper. Uh, we do have a Teflon door on this to reduce the sticking. Uh, I forgot to mention that in the last video. We've got a standard steep sided funnel here. Um, we have a baffle in here as well that I forgot to mention, which is at its lowest position essentially that it can go to. And that limits the amount of product flowing from the supply hopper to the feed pan. Um, as this product is very dense, we need to limit that weight on the feed pan as it reduces the amount of energy available to it. Um, this product is very dense still though, and it does have an issue with that uh, during filling. Um, this is a heavy duty vibrator at the moment. Actually, no, this is a standard, excuse me. And a heavy duty would speed things up a little bit, but it actually might interfere with this as well. So the standard is giving us a very consistent run, um, <clears throat> but for these heavier weights, if you're going to be doing a lot of them, it may be a good idea to upgrade to that HD vibrator, and I will include that in a quote. Um, the only other th issue with this is, is that it does have obviously dusting issues, electrostatic issues. So we do get some buildup in the uh, supply hopper here. Again, this is set to auto tear, so it doesn't have any issues with the weight. Um, every three cycles, it will reset itself. Um, and then again, the unfortunate side of that is, is that it can produce a heavier bag every so often as the buildup releases. It would be advisable to have a catch pan as well underneath the bagging area just to catch anything that does unlodge while you don't have a bag underneath it essentially. Um, you can see here I've got a little bit in my stainless steel catch pan and that's literally just from some of the stuff sloughing off of the corners of this standard steep sided funnel. Uh, one pound run has been very successful again very tight tolerance on it. Um, speed is pretty good it's about eight nine seconds long. And since I don't have any containers for this, I'm just going to let it flow and we're going to catch it and then we'll reload the machine actively as we work. And you can see that there's fluffing uh, as the air mass builds up in front of the weight of the product and doesn't have anywhere to escape. It hits the bottom of the pan and then fluffs out essentially. And that was our auto tear feature where it resets the scale to make sure that we're weighing properly.